Get all of your horror goodness at Big Bad Toy Store. It's link in the description. Horror, Kaiju, Dragon Ball, and more. Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It is Steven here, and welcome to a two-parter because we do have NECA's Puppet Master releases. And since we have two two-packs, I'm going to go ahead and review each two-pack in separate videos. Well, that's pretty straightforward. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the ultimate Blade and Torch 2-pack. Now, this is going to be a very fun set because, quite frankly, I think uh, visually appealing. This set is going to be my favorite. And besides, Knives and Fire. Who don't like that? So, with this 2-set, we get uh, pretty neat figures that are light on accessories, and it's pretty small. So, let's take a look to see whether or not Blade and Torch are worth adding into your collection. Now, you know I don't normally do this because it's a box. Um, you don't buy this for the box, you buy it for the figures, right? Well, here for this release, both the Blade and Torch and Pinhead and Tunneler set, NECA went ahead and did something really cool. They actually did nice Puppet Master themed boxes, and what I mean by that is it opens up like a chest. And we can actually see the figures have their own halves of the boxes. Yep, that is exactly how small they are, not only in height, but just overall. So if you were thinking that these would be big, trust me, when you get these, they're pretty small, but presented very well. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Blade. And no, I'm not talking about Wesley Snipes. Blade is pretty straightforward. We have some minimal paint application here, mostly going to be white. We do have that, I don't know, I guess that would be cream colored lipstick that he's got going on there. Uh, we're going to see some red for blood splatter in the accessory section. Bronze-ish red for the weapons. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. One of the issues that Blade does have, which is going to play more so in the articulation section, is even though there's not a whole lot of paint going on here, it is rather thick. If you're a fan of the TMNT figures, specifically the Toon line, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that can hinder the articulation a bit. But otherwise, Blade does look rather good with only minimal quality control issue, most specifically around the, as I affectionately call it, lipstick. But otherwise, this is a very nice looking figure, and if you're a fan of the character, this is going to be one that you will enjoy. Now, when it comes on over to Torch, which is all kidding aside, probably going to be, aside from a quality control issue with the ankles, my favorite of the four Puppet Master figures in general. Why? Well, the coat looks fantastic with the paint applications that are on it. Paint flaking on the joints notwithstanding, the application for the eyes is great. The bullet-like teeth, I mean, let's get real here, that's exactly what they look like. Everything is done really well, even the dry brushing on the pants. Admittedly, up close and personal, yeah, you can kind of sort of see what may be brush strokes, but realistically speaking, it really does help seal the deal that this is, I don't know, maybe denim? I don't know, it looks really cool, very nicely done. Now, I did make mention of the joints in the ankles, causing a bit of an eyesore, which we'll talk about in the articulation section. We'll go ahead and uh, do the articulation for both these little fellers in the, uh, at the same time. So, what do we have? Blade. Mouth is actually going to be on a hinge for both heads. <gasps> Two heads? Yeah, you uh, saw it in the intro shot. So, what do we have uh, stuck, unfortunately? Um, I don't know if this is just the intended range of movement, but once I popped the head off and I really tried, I blasted this with hot water, I was able to open it that far. Uh, needed to use hot water because, as you can see there, uh, unfortunately, there was paint that dried and prevented the mouth from opening as full as it can, and you could see a little bit of warp there. So, yeah, you may need heat to get it to work. But hinged mouth, very cool. Ball jointed head, which gives fantastic range of movement. Look up about that far, down about that far, rock from side to side, obviously spin around. So this way we can pretend uh, this is an exorcist figure. And then for the shoulders, which thankfully uh, these little flaps here don't really get into the way of the range of movement, except for when swinging the arm back, which that's not really that big of an issue. So swivel, hinge, can we T-pose? 
uh, yeah, just fine enough. We do have single hinge elbows, which for the size, that's just fine. Not really expecting double hinge there because look at that bend. That is perfectly fine. And then because it's NECA, uh, they're going to be pins there where it plugs into the bicep. So we're not actually going to have bicep swivels, but we do have a swivel at the elbow, which works fine enough. Now we do have some handy dandy tools on blade, which are actually going to plug in. And since they are on pegs, they both swivel around. So this way we can change up the way blade is going to be killing people, which is great. We don't have anything uh, for an ab crunch, but we do have a ball joint at the waist, which bends up that far, down that far, rocks a little bit, and obviously is going to spin around, so we have good range of movement. Now, we do have a bit of a trench coat going on here, so leg movement is going to be the new style ball joint that NECA is going to be using, I believe, uh, from what I can see up there, anyway. Yeah. Is that what's going on? Yeah, ball joints. Um... I know I had to take another look. So we do get a little bit of swiveling up there. Can go about that far forward and back about that far if you push it a little bit. And then we do have single hinge knees. They are going to rotate as well, which is very cool. Now for the feet, um, it doesn't really stand too well, but for the ankles, we do have swivel and hinge movement. So we get a little bit of ankle rocker like that. Good movement there. Uh, forward and back, eh, it's okay. Now, Torch. Very cool. Uh, I like this one a whole lot. Uh, jaw, hinge, very cool. Head plugs in on a ball joint. Look up that far, down that far, very nice. As you can see, the mouth automatically closes when you get the full range of movement. Obviously, twist and turn, spin all the way around. The uh, little spike here does not come out. We do have swivel hinge for the shoulders, so we can spin all the way around, but do note, it's kind of like a V-cut there. As you can see, I mean, it's not actually a V cut for the swivel, but since the shoulders, you know, kind of come out of the V, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so here's the interesting thing. We do have double hinge elbows, only one of the set that comes with double hinge elbows and pegs into the bicep and into the forearm. So we do have swivels. Nice. Swivel and hinge wrist. Very tight, um, so I only use about that much range of movement. Otherwise, it feels very hard. Now, here, the reason why I have the only accessory this one comes with uh, attached is because it does swivel around. Very cool. Let's go ahead and pop that off. Ball joint. Great range of movement. Nothing it can't do. We do have the coat, which, as you can see, ball joint. So we do get twisties for a swivel. Forward and back about that far. Split out about that far. You can see he pooped a little bit with that flaked paint. Single inch knees. Very tight to move. Even after loosening up. But that's the range of movement. Ankles are going to be just like blades. Um, this ankle joint is torn. This one is starting. And then we get ankle rockers for the swivels. So I've already reached out to NECA to see if that can be corrected, but we'll see. I have a feeling no. And then flash mark there. Cool. So for the articulation, um, I think George is awesome. Blade's pretty cool, serviceable. Um, these move well enough. If anything, the paint likes to flake off when you're moving these two around. So it's just something to really keep in mind. Overall, you can get them into some fun poses when you don't have bad quality control. Um, I'm not surprised if this ankle is just going to rip off soon. Please help me, Naka. Now let's talk about accessories, which this set is extremely light on, especially when we take a look at the Tunneler and Pinhead set. So Blade comes with an alternate bloody face and an alternate bloody uh, knife or blade. Yep. Paint application is pretty good, but unfortunately, like the default head, paint stuck in the mouth prevented the jaw from opening. Mm -hmm. Now, for torch, we get a flame effect. Plugs into the hand, which you already saw earlier. Cool. It, I mean, it looks good, so there's that. And that's about it. Mm hmm. So we have quite a history with Puppet Master. Admittedly, not everyone shows up for all of the sequels, which may be a good thing or a bad thing. This is all they could think of. So I don't know if they were going after specifically like the first movie. I know a lot of the accessories are geared more so towards the first movie, like the fire poker that comes with Pinhead. However, 
uh, Blade has an axe. We couldn't get that to go with this? Ah, come on. There's more things that you can add in. So if you're looking for accessories, effect parts, stands, which I'm going to get to at the end, you know I got videos to help you out. To wrap everything up, here is a size comparison with all of NECA's Puppet Master figures, the Ultimates anyway, with some you just might have on the shelf. Unfortunately, I can't do everything under the sun because maybe there's going to be some non-NECA collectors who are looking to get these because, hey, this is my favorite franchise. So what I will say is a general scope. If you have things like Chucky or Annabelle, these are going to fit in just fine with those to terrorize your other figures. However, if you're looking to get these to go with Pinhead, to go with Jason, uh, sizing is pretty good, and I would say they sneak in well with your retro cloth figures. Whatever you're looking to get, these are appropriately sized, tiny, ter evil doers. I think that word is banned on YouTube. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Generally speaking, quality control issues aside, I really do think that this set is pretty fun. The accessories, however, yeah, that's kind of a missed opportunity, especially with the fact these really struggle with standing. NECA does make display stands, which, by the way, no holes in the feet for those. So if you're going to make figures that have difficult time standing, um, NECA... Some sort of support stand would be appreciated, which they seriously dropped the ball on. Hopefully, I'm able to get help with NECA for a replacement for my torch, but otherwise, we'll see. For about 30 bucks or so, yeah, I would say it's a solid purchase if you're a fan of the franchise. And I would also recommend getting the other set. Now, if you want more Puppet Master from STR here, head on over to the Patreon, because by the end of the month, you are going to get a Puppet Master Gallery. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.